Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Or if it's your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know every time I upload another video. Now today's uh, video for this week, we're going to be having a closer look at the striped tailed scorpion. So, let's take a look. Right, okay, so here under this bit of cork is my striped tail scorpion or devil scorpion, Arizona devil scorpion, Arizona striped tail scorpion. As with many things, this has many, many common names. So, so call it what you like, really, in terms of a common name. Uh, the important name is obviously the scientific one, and this has actually recently changed. So, so this will be is often sold as Vajovis spinogerus. Uh, but the genus has now changed to Paraphajovis. So this is Paraphajovis spinogerus. But as I say, if you want to get a scorpion, chances are you'll see it for sale as Vajovis. So this one came to me in a recent mystery box from the spider shop, and that's what they call the species. It does take time for sort of name changes or corrections to sort of kind of, you know, drip into the hobby uh, quite often. So I've... Um, but these things happen all the time. And this is a good thing for names to change every now and then. It means there's people studying the animals out in the wild. So only, and we can make sure we know what we actually have. So, so as far as I'm aware, that is what this species is. So this species um, is a fairly small species from sort of southern USA um, and Mexico. So it ranges from Mexico, New Mexico, California, Arizona. And so as one of the common names suggests... Uh, being Arizona Stripe or Arizona Devil. So they're not a particularly big species. Um, so they'll get up to, you know, sort of on the big side, kind of seven centimetres. Uh, it's really big for them. Um, but average now, around about sort of five, six centimetres. So they are quite a, a small scorpion. I think these guys are absolutely fantastic and they are packed full of attitude. So they're. Venom is not medically significant, so if it was to sting you, it will hurt, but that should be about it. Um, unless, of course, you are allergic to the venom. Um, obviously, it's best not to ever be stung. It, like I say, it will hurt. So I never hold any of my scorpions. I never put my fingers near them. Um, I'd rather not go through the pain. So, so I do use long tweezers with all my scorpions, um, just as a general rule. And that's because, as well, sometimes working in zoo um, and other things that sometimes get things that come in you know from wherever um so i had a scorpion coming at work where it got hitchhiked in someone's luggage and uh, it was a potential it could have been one that had medically significant venom so it's always best as a rule of thumb just not to put your fingers in near them so these guys inhabit mainly dry uh, scrubland to desert um and also a bit of grassland as well. So they like it fairly warm. And so they do like it obviously quite dry as well. And of course being scorpions they are nocturnal primarily. Uh, so obviously they tend to come out more at night. Um, you won't really see them out during the day. During the day it hides under its bit of cork. Which is to be expected of it. So diet is pretty much any kind of invertebrate that they can overpower. So, so it's an invertebrate that are obviously smaller than it. So, um, they'll tend to crush um, the prey with, with their pedipalps or pincers. They will sting as well. So, but it, I have noticed this one not necessarily going for the sting uh, too often. But they are very defensive. Um, little ones, they are packed full of character. They make a great alternative um, to your other desert scorpions. And even some of your larger scorpions if you're looking for something smaller. And then check these guys out. Okay, so that was the striped tail scorpion. Absolutely fantastic little wee things. I absolutely love all my scorpions. Every single scorpion there is, I fall in love with them. Uh, and the small ones are absolutely adorable. Love these things. They're really feisty, um, which I really quite like, uh, especially being so small. So, um, and yeah, they're great, great things. So if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please do put some comments down below. Do you keep scorpions? If so, which species do you keep? Do you keep this species? Are you thinking of getting into scorpions? I would really highly recommend scorpions. They're one of my favourite, favourite animals to keep. And again, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I upload currently every Sunday. 
So until next Sunday, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.